Why is the sky blue? And why are sunsets red? When I was young, I thought the sky was blue because it was the mixture of the black of outer space and the yellow sunlight. That makes no sense though. I believe it doesn't make sense in color theory. I'm not really sure about that. And also, black isn't a color. It's rather the absence of light. The sun's rays are also white and not yellow. And white isn't really a color either because it's the combination of every single wavelength. And if we define color as a certain type of wavelength, white isn't a color. So how can I answer my question? For that, we need to take a look at Rayleigh scattering. Rayleigh scattering is a form of elastic scattering of light. How can light actually be scattered elastically? Well, elastically is kind of like elastic collision. You retain the type of energy, and the initial energy and the final energy is the same. For instance, in elastic collisions, the two bodies have the same kinetic energy as before. Just like that, in Rayleigh scattering, the photons have the same electromagnetic energy as before. And we all know what the same electromagnetic energy means. E equals HF, and that means that the frequency has to remain the same. So, in a nutshell, elastic scattering basically means that the final photon has the same exact frequency as the initial photon. The colors are the same. So how does scattering happen by molecules in a way that they retain the same frequency? Well, by particles much smaller than the wavelength of the radiation, these particles are electrically polarized. There's something called dipoles, and most of the molecules actually have a positive part where there are positive ions in the structure and a more negative part where there are more negative ions in the structure. Overall, the charge should be neutral because it's not an ion, but there is a slight difference in the charges in each end of a molecule. In a way, it's polarized. So this polarization exists, and when the oscillating electric field in an electromagnetic radiation interacts with the particles, these polarized particles actually get to oscillate at the same frequency as the radiation. What this means is that the particles become a dipole and they will basically create an oscillating electric field at the same frequency as the photon that they just absorbed. And this same oscillating frequency is going to make a magnetic field that's you know perpendicular to it, and it's going to create a emission of a photon that has the same frequency as the initial photon. So that's what happens. This is Rayleigh scattering. The Rayleigh scattering usually has an extent of scattering or the intensity of scattering that is inversely proportional to the lambda of the photon to the power of 4. And this means it's the intensity of the scattered wave out of the intensity of the original wave. The extent of scattering, basically. This means that blue light, which has a smaller wavelength, is going to have a bigger degree of scattering. And in contrast to that, red light, which has a bigger wavelength, is going to have a smaller extent of scattering. This is why blue light is scattered more than red light. And what does blue light being scattered more than red light actually mean? Well, let's picture Earth, and we're standing in the atmosphere, and the atmosphere has nitrogen and oxygen atoms that allow Rayleigh scattering to occur. Now, when the sunlight comes in into the atmosphere, the blue light is scattered. It's scattered, it's basically spread in every single direction from the initial ray, and then it gets reflected by the clouds, it, get re it gets reflected by the atmosphere, etc. So whenever we look around the sky, we see blue light. Red light, or yellow light on the other hand, is less of a scattered process. And that's why when you look directly at the sun, you usually see a slightly yellowish light. So this is what gives the sky its indirect blue light. And there is blue light coming from all regions of the sky. But what about violet light? Well, the sun has its own spectrum. And as you can see here, it emits less violet light. So the intensity of the light emitted goes down when it reaches the purple region. Um, in addition, the oxygen in our atmosphere absorbs all of the wavelengths at the ultraviolet edge. So essentially, there just isn't a lot of purple light coming into our atmosphere. In addition, because there isn't a lot of purple light, our eyes are less accustomed to being sensitive to purple light. And this just further makes this, um, you know, this situation worse 
where the sky isn't purple at all. So the resulting color is the mix of all the scattered colors, and the scattered colors are mostly blue and green. This makes this sort of pale blue color that's a little bit warmer, and the red and yellow light is not scattered, and it can be seen by glancing towards the sun. Then what happens during sunsets? During sunsets, the color of the sun becomes a lot more yellow, and the entirety of the sky is crimson, it's orange and yellow. And there has to be very less or very little blue light in the atmosphere at all. Well, during sunsets, the sun is near the horizon, at least for the viewer. So if you're the viewer and you're this little stick man, that's the position of the sun. The light from the sun must pass through more of the atmosphere. And in addition, it has to pass through the atmosphere near the Earth's surface, and that means that the air is much denser, which means that the effects of scattering are much, much higher during sunsets. And that's the reason why all of the blue light is so scattered that it's basically kind of gone. And so this is why all of the light that reaches the atmosphere is red and yellow and orange. And this is why, for a brief moment, these are the colors that illuminate the sky. During the night, in places of little light pollution, actually the color of the night sky is also blue. It's just a very dark blue because the moon that is, you know, reflecting light is actually reflecting sunlight. And, you know, the atmosphere doesn't change during the night. It still does the exact same thing. However, it does seem black. The reason why you can't just look up during the night and see this gorgeous blue night sky is because the light during the night is very very dim. So we can't really see colors anymore because in our retina there are cone cells and rod cells and when there is less light we use rod cells and rod cells can only distinguish between black and white so we don't really see it anyways. But you know if you had some sort of super sensitive camera you would be able to pick this up. So that's about it for Rayleigh scattering, which I think is extremely interesting. Um, do subscribe for more edutainment videos or A-level physics videos, and thank you so much for watching.